How's it going? Is <clears throat> everybody, everybody having a good conference? Good conference? Yeah. Woo! Awesome. So, <clears throat> so we've talked a little bit about um, different sorts of uh, things you can do with hybrid, how you can, oh, display sort of like entire Sakai 2 sites inside of OAE, or maybe you can insert um, a Sakai uh, to tool maybe here and there in a page. Um, and so what I'm going to show is sort of an, an extension from that. And actually, it's like a much bigger world than that um, because it's all going to be basically built on um, basic LTI, which is Dr. Chuck's awesome stuff. Um, so it's going to be Sakai 2, but it's going to be more than that. And it's going to show some stuff where the UI might be going in the future um, with how that works. So I'll just go to my cool document here. And hopefully all this works. Um, I had like all my presentations today, so I didn't start coding this stuff until like noon. Um, but <laughs> we'll add a new page. Um, let's see. Awesome Tuesday, 5 p.m. So right now, um, the, the other widget that um, that Lance showed, where you you sort of you sort of make a thing and um, you say which Sakai two tool you want to use, um, we kind of I kind of want to extend that. So it's not so much as just like oh this is your other server and oh these are random things that are available on that server. So what I want to sort of move towards is having having the more like finer grained integrations and like picking out certain parts and exposing those parts inside of OAE or other places and having it be like, oh, this is just another thing and it may be not immediately obvious that it's actually from your Sakai 2 server or whatever server it could be coming from. So the first, so, and, and that kind of, and these are all, you know, sort of in progress things, but it, it, it takes place over like a number of potential UI things. So the first one is, um, we've got our insert menu here with our, our menus. And so the first thing we can do um, is, right, so you've got your Sakai 2 tools, which are things. But what we can start to do is we can think about those use cases, which like, we were like, oh, maybe it doesn't make sense to put this and then a bunch of text and this. But there are certain things where that might make sense. So we can pull out those use cases and go ahead and make them look like standalone things. For instance, the gray book, because there's not a gray book. So that might be something that you generally want to include. So um, we can start to expose those as their own things on the page, and then rather than just like a drop down from Sakai 2. So I'll go ahead and click gray book, and um, it's not super, super pretty yet. Um, but I hit, I put enter, and I hit save. And oh, it's a gray book. Um, and it's coming from Sakai too, but it's not immediately obvious. So that's the first kind of like UI massaging I want to do is picking out things that we clearly need and being like, this is just part of the application, and you know, the end user could care less what server it's on. Um, that's one thing, and then that extends to all sorts of other awesome basic LTI things. Um, for instance, um, I'm a big fan of Etherpad, and so. Um, we have, a, we have a basic LTI version of Etherpad, which I finally pushed the code changes out to GitHub, so we can start to work on that. <laughs> and uh, hopefully make it past the, uh, the basic LTI test this week, um, so that'd be exciting. So here's, like, so here's another example, it's like, this is a basic LTI widget, and I mean, previously, until now, what we've, what we've done is, we've had this basic LTI screen where you'd input the URL and the key and the secret, which makes sense maybe if you're like you're getting one of these widgets from like a vendor or something and it's it's pluggable. But if you have if you have this thing sort of set up, you know, we can start to just expose them as parts of the application. And they use basic LTI behind the scenes, but again, I mean, no, you don't want nobody really cares about that. They just want to have Etherpad on their site. Um, so we can start to expose these as their own chunks of stuff, and we'll hit save. And bam, there it is. And so it's um, it's you know, it's fully there, and you see, see it actually has my name here. Um, so it is actually sucking your live data from your OAE session. Um, so you can go log in and, you know, we can, we can play with it later. Um, 
And so I have done other work to make like smaller versions of this. Like I've stripped off the sidebars, I've stripped off all the menus. If you just want little Etherpad widgets all over the place, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's another cool thing. Um, one thing that I, I wanted to demo today, but I've been talking about a lot about Chuck with, is we have the code for um, a basic LTI version of a Khan Academy. Is, is everybody familiar with Khan Academy? It's awesome. So um, Khan Academy is this sort of, this, it's this guy, um, and he makes these videos, and he talks about, um, they're just lessons for like math and science and other things, but he does a really good job, and they're, they're all done with like a pen on the screen, and I like, I like to say that it looks kind of like an Amiga 1000, because sometimes it's kind of grainy, but he does a really good job of describing everything from like trigonometry to like calculus limits and whatnot. Anyways, that has a portion of it that goes along with it, which is an open source um, application, and it's just, it's awesome. So it's all these exercises, like hundreds of thousands of exercises for doing calculus and science, and it's got a little drawing pad if you need to take notes. Anyways, it's open source, and there's a basic LTI version of it. I have it on my laptop. We're going to be hacking on it. Um, but it would look really cool in OAE because it will suck in, like, um, the instructors and the students, and you'll have coaches, and I'll save them. And so this sort of brings me to the next part is, so we've got these, these, Things. And as we've been mentioning, you know, again, maybe it doesn't make sense to put like four Etherpad widgets in this in this in this page with some text and a gradebook. But so, what is sort of coming as part of the UI, which will um, happen, is and recently in version 1.0, um, Nico and Kroby and team started working on this awesome new wizard for adding content. And so we have upload content. We have you know, create a new document. So what is coming, what we can do now is we have these other options down here that we can add, and I just started like, you know, hacking these in like an hour ago. Um, but so we can have from this use, use existing content, we can have like other options. Um, and this, this, this allows us to have more stuff from hybrid where you, know, you have Sakai 2 files that you want to pull in from your existing, your existing content or, or other things um, from on campus. And then we can also have these other sections, like we can have an application, you, you can have like an etherpad, you can have some other thing, and this, and, and in this scenario, because you're adding content, this would be like a full screen thing, right? So you can just click it, you add it, and then it's not just a widget in the page, it's like it shows up on the sidebar, it's a full thing. And then under the, under the applications area, you could have, you know, more options, um, maybe some of the Sakai 2 tools that you've pulled out that you think are really good use cases that stand on their own in OAE, or even like the widget um, app store. So we're, you know, we're constantly working on new apps. I like to call it the plugin co-op. Um, so you can have like the plugin co-op where you could get new plugins from people and install them automatically, whether they're OAE widgets for basic LTI applications. And that could be under here, under applications, and you would have like a cool thing, and it would be like a store or a co-op, and then they would show up as pages on the side. Um, so that's kind of the next step of where we're going with that. But in general, I think it's really cool um, to have all this, all this sort of things and sort of you know, be moving them in more tightly to the workflow um, and having to just dropping them all in. So that's what I'm excited about, and I'm hoping to be hacking on it throughout the conference. This is, um, this is my last presentation, so tonight we can bring our laptops out and hack on uh, basic LTI and hybrid mode and Etherpad and Khan Academy and all kinds of cool uh, widgets and wizards, and it'll be awesome. <laughs>